guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a collection video for you guys. This one is my stuffed animal collection. Yeah. I am such a kid at heart. Uh, it's ridiculous. I love all things Disney. I love stuffed animals. I, I'm just, I mean, you can ask my family. They'll be like, oh my gosh. So I can already feel that this uh, video is going to be a long one. Um, so I would definitely, definitely grab a snack. Also, if you guys are curious about this makeup look, then I will link that video down below. So go ahead and check that out. And you know, while you're checking out my other videos, you might as well subscribe. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I have quite a few. This is actually not all of them by the way. Um, a, a lot of them are still at my parents' house, which is crazy. But these were the ones that I just I could not part with. Yeah, I still have quite a few, so let's just jump right into it. This is a no particular order. I'm just gonna grab and go. So the first one is this guy. Um, he made an appearance in my Pisces video. I will link that down below as well. For you guys to check out but um this is nemo finding nemo is my most favorite uh disney pixar animation aside from like the classics you know that this is definitely i don't know i just i love finding nemo ever since it came out and then finally <laughs> Like a decade later, they came out with Finding Dory, and I'm telling you, uh, I <laughs> I was so excited. I had to literally drag my younger siblings to the movie theater to watch it with me, because I mean, I didn't want to be, you know, I, I, I had the excuse of being, you know, the adult with the little kids, taking them to the movie theater, but no, I was the one. I, I could not keep still. I was so excited. I am so much older than my other two siblings and they were just like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, like a little kitty film? And I was like, excuse me, this is Finding Dory, okay? I waited like 13 years for this to happen. Not gonna miss it. So yes, I went on opening day. I was so excited. <laughs> but yes, I, I love Finding Nemo. He's just the cutest. The next guy is this Mickey Mouse Scarecrow. Um, I actually bought him from Hobby Lobby this past November, October, to decorate my house with. And he's just so adorable. I mean, it's Mickey Mouse. Come on. Of course he's adorable. So yeah, that's why I got him. And this little guy, <laughs> this little teddy bear, he's so cute. It says, love from Cleveland. And my husband actually got this for me when he went on a business trip to Cleveland. So yeah, it's really, really cute and really shocked. And he has a little hoodie. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. But yeah, my husband almost always gets me a souvenir from uh, his business trips and they are almost always stuffed animals because he knows my obsession. And his name is Mr. Cleveland, full name Barry Cleveland. This next guy you probably saw in my um, Halloween Harry Potter videos. Uh, if you haven't seen those, you should definitely check that out because this guy makes an appearance. This is Hedwig and his head moves. How cool is this? It's like a hand puppet. Um, I actually got this from uh, Harry Potter World in, in Universal Studios in California this or last year when I when I went for my birthday. So it was, it was so special. I had to have a souvenir from the Harry Potter world. And then there's this little guy. I can't remember, oh my gosh, I totally cannot remember. I know someone gave him to me, but oh my gosh, I can't remember. I think, I think, like 90, not 80, 80% sure? 80% sure that this was a graduation gift from one of my friends. And this is Fluffy, by the way. This is another Mickey Mouse. Um, I don't even know what, 
what you call this? Oh, beanie balls. And it's like, no matter how you like roll him or how much you roll him, he always lands on his feet. There's like a weight or something on the bottom, but it's so cute. And this is another souvenir my husband got for me for another business trip. And I really need to start writing down like where he went, you know, like the, the state. <sighs> I need to start doing that, but I totally forgot where he went, but this was a souvenir from that. So really cute, really cute. Then there's this little guy. He is literally ripping apart. His boots are like peeling off. But man, I don't, I, my dad got this for me a long time ago. And this is little Christmas puppy. And he has his little milk and cookie. So cute. And I always use this as a Christmas decoration for my house. Then, <laughs> then there's this guy. I call him curious because you know I'm curious George but I would love a curious George stuffed animal hmm. yes but in the meantime his name is curious and my husband when he got uh, or when he went on vacation with his family to India he actually got this for me um, it's from the theme park over there called Wonderlaw then there's this guy, Be My Valentine, and this is the Valentine beard that my husband got for me last year. So, yes, his name is Red Velvet. And then this guy, he made uh, appearances in my Valentine's Day videos. Go check those out as well. You got, you got to, you got to. Um, he, he makes a very good appearance in those. This was um, another gift from my husband for this year's Valentine's Day. I mean, it's Mickey. You can't go wrong with Mickey, you know, in my book. This little bunny friend is from my childhood, actually, when I was a little baby. Um, and I've kept him all these years. And I'm surprised I kept him in such good condition. Look at that. There's like uh, pictures of me as a toddler with this one and I believe there was a second one but I don't know what happened to that second one. His name is Chubby Bunny. This guy is also from my husband and it actually came with a bouquet of flowers and it was just so nicely packaged and everything. I haven't named him. Let me know down below what you think I should name this guy. He needs a name. He needs a name. Name him for me. And this is another Mickey Mouse stuffed animal. Um, this one, I believe my dad got it for me because he knows I love Mickey Mouse. And yeah, he got me a little Mickey Mouse stuffed animal. Love it, so cute. Especially since, you know, my daddy got it for me. So he's like a on the go Mickey because of his size. I can just fit him into my purse. This next little guy I actually got from Dave & Buster's with my siblings. Um, I believe my sister has the same exact one too. And it was just like a really fun time with my siblings and I believe it was for their birthdays that I took them. So it was like a, like a little memory souvenir from that time. My husband and I always joke that this is our son because he has like the big eyes like me and then his hair is like my how my husband's hair used to look like fun fact this little guy is um mr brownie and my husband got this for me as a souvenir for one of his business business trips business trips and i have no idea at where um which state he's from and I really need to start writing it down. He's so cute, look at his big eyes. My husband was like, I saw his huge eyes and that's how I knew I had to buy him for you. And I was like, thanks. Next is this Mickey Mouse. As you can see, I have quite a few Mickey Mouses in my collection. This one is the Mickey Mouse dressed as Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I thought this would be such a cute Halloween decoration. And different, I've never seen a Mickey Mouse like this. The next one is this guy, oh my gosh. He's so, so soft. And he was actually a gift from some of our family friends. 
uh, when I graduated high school and it's just so sweet of them to send this to me and it has like a little Bible verse in here too it says for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord Jeremiah 29 verse 11 so cute the next one is this little guy and I actually got this from our trip to Oklahoma last year and I really wanted a souvenir and I saw him in the store and I was like you I want you and the next one is this little guy his, his name is scream in this but I call him boo he looks more like a boo to me little boo and my sister got this for me um, she wanted to uh, get me something to help decorate my room for Halloween and it was so thoughtful of her to get this for me so yes this is boo the next two are little teeny tiny beanie babies um, <laughs> this one I actually got in a Happy Meal um, his name is Timber and <laughs> I got him in a Happy Meal this one reminded me of another teeny tiny beanie baby that I got in a Happy Meal oh my gosh like when I was like seven and yeah I think I was seven when my sister was born so yeah it was so cool that I got another little wolf in, in my uh, Happy Meal and yes I recently got a Happy Meal like well last year and <laughs> I don't know why I asked my husband I was like I really want a Happy Meal I haven't had one of those since I was literally like seven I, I've only had like two in my whole lifetime can you believe this but I finally got a Happy Meal and I got this little guy in him um, I actually showed my sister a picture of this little guy because I was so excited and then she ended up getting me this guy and this is like I guess father and son his name is Slush <laughs> I'm gonna have to rename him. I don't really like the name Slush. The next one is of course Mickey Mouse. This is the biggest Mickey Mouse that I have. The goal is to get like a life-size version of Mickey Mouse and I have found two of them and they are so expensive. <laughs> Super expensive like $300 expensive. So eventually eventually i will get one will but for right now this guy is the biggest oh i actually wrote oh my gosh i wrote it down on here and it was for 2017 new years that my husband got it for me so oh that's really sweet really sweet this next guy <laughs> um i call him little joe like as in Mighty Joe Young, this is Little Joe. And this is actually not mine. This is my husband's. But I display him, you know, amongst my other stuffed animals. But um, my sister-in-law actually got this for my husband, her brother. She had a adopted a gorilla at the zoo in my husband's name. And they sent this guy like as a thank you so it was really cute i don't know i like it and he's so soft so yes this is technically technically not mine he just lives with my other stuffed animals the next one is this little guy oh my god this guy was a souvenir from my washington dc trip um we actually went to like a i think it was like a chinese new year lights festival and this guy was in the gift shop and I have an obsession with elephants. Elephants are my absolute favorite animal. They have always been my favorite animal because they're just, I don't know, they're so sweet. And I mean, I feel like they have bigger a bigger heart than most humans. <laughs> so I love elephants. And this guy was just looking at me like a doctor. And so I did. And the next one, is another Mickey, obviously. But I always wanted the wizard Mickey Mouse. I don't know why. I have like a little obsession. I even got the wizard Mickey Mouse ears. I found him at Disneyland and I was so excited. So I had to get him. And I mean, it's of the year and I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'll remember what year I got him. You know, just another excuse to buy this guy. 
and he's so cute. He has like a little robe, so adorable, and his little hat, so cute. And I love his shoes. <sighs> this is the Flash, and <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my gosh! But he is so large, so large. He's just been living in my closet ever since I got him because he's just so big. My hubby won this for me at Six Flags when I went with my family. My whole family was like, what are you going to do with this huge stuffed, you know, flash? What, where are you even going to fit him? And I was like, I don't know, but I need him. And that is why I have him now. And I was uh, totally obsessing over this because I had, that was when I first just started to watch the Flash like the series and on CW. Yeah. That's also why I got this guy. Cause I love Barry Allen. Grant Gustin who plays Barry Allen, oh, so adorable. And last but certainly not least is this guy. There's like a special place in my heart for this guy. This teddy bear has been in my life since I was a baby. And this is also one of my oldest stuffed animals. I don't know, I've always loved his color. It just reminds me of my birthstone. I have tried to preserve him the best I could. When my sister was young, she got a hold of him. And I don't know if she thought she was trying to like clean my room I don't, I don't know but she decided to use toothpaste and spread it everywhere on my room like on my bed on my radio and yes i had a radio which i loved dearly i don't know where that is huh. but i mean everywhere including his butt do you see that it's still on there i could not get it on i don't know what it, i don't know if it's I, if she mixed it with something but it will not come off it's toothpaste and something else because it's like it feels like cement it's so like rough but look at his butt <laughs> it has toothpaste on his butt i just remember coming home from school and then um it was like too quiet which is when i know something's wrong and then i call out my sister's name and then i hear her little footsteps like running and hiding and <laughs> I was walking down the hallway and I was like, oh, toothpaste, because it was on the wall. And I mean, I, I guess I was, my brain was fried after being in school all day, but I, I don't know. I didn't like wonder why toothpaste was on the wall, but then it like my brain slowly started like churning and was like, wait a minute, why is there toothpaste on the wall leading to my room? And then it was all over, all over over and i told my parents but i don't understand why she didn't get in trouble huh oh oh my gosh speaking of birthstone bears hold on hold on i also have this guy and this is actually for march and it has a little like charm necklace on here with my actual birthstone the aquamarine and i'm obsessed with my birthstone i love it uh, it says uh on the back aquamarine the birthstone of march is believed to be a symbol of beauty honesty and loyalty <laughs> well thank you all right you guys so that's it for my stuffed animal collection i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye